orders menu. This is the same across every single chain. Uh, so auto sell, if I turn it on, right? Auto sell is now on. Hitting this changes uh, how I want to manage the auto sell. So it can either do by market cap, which I prefer, or you can do it by percentage, right? So percentage just takes the amount of change since it was added to the monitor and will sell on those percentages, or you can do it by market cap and you can set your high and low market cap. Go off of this market cap because um, Prodigy, unlike Dex Screener, but also I think Dex Tools does it this way. It depends on which charting software you're using. Uh, we take the fully diluted market cap, not just uh, the market cap with like a burn and stuff in it. So this market cap may be different than Bork. Let me see what Bork is right now. Bork is listed as 1.6, actually. Let's see if I refresh if it goes down. I think it did. Yeah, okay, so this is not, this is exactly the same as what Dex creation is. That's fine. So auto sell, great. High market cap, low market cap. Look at the market cap, set your market cap, type it in as to when you want to sell uh, at the low. And for the high, look at the market cap, figure out what you want to change it to. This is where the percentage changes. If you're doing it by percentage, go off of that percentage. If you want to sell when it goes to 100% plus, that would be like a 32, uh, 3.2 million, you put 100. Low, obviously low. Now, the, the important part to set is this is what someone was talking about kind of in their AVAX copy trading. They didn't set the actual amount they wanted to sell. That was the problem. They're like, why did my auto sell go off? Well, you set your limits for what you wanted to sell, but you didn't set how much you wanted to sell. So for amount low, you would type in the percentage of tokens you would like to sell when the low is hit. For the amount high, you want to type in how many you want to sell when the high is hit. You can do 100% if you want to sell your whole bag, 50%. If let's say one way to do it is the way I like to do it is to say, okay, at 400%, at a 4X, I want to sell 25% generally to get my initial, right? Not accounting for tax. Uh, or set your market cap the same way and set the percentage that you would get your initial out. And that's an easy way to do it. Um, but you can also set it to, you know, 100% at 4X or whatever you want to do. Same with low, it's like a stop loss. So I'll turn off auto sell. So with uh, auto buy, same deal. Turn on auto buy. You tell it how much you want to buy. Buy at a certain market cap or buy a percentage change. Right now, this is at an 8 percentage change. If I would have put buy at a 10 percentage change, it would have triggered. Solana doesn't, uh, the limit orders don't require you to refresh. It is pulling the data directly from chain and it triggers it when that happens. The refreshing doesn't matter. Uh, the refreshing matter is just visually for you to see it here. Um, okay, so I'll turn off my auto buy. Very, pretty straightforward. If you're so, so let me do this, hide orders. So the default way to look at your trades menu is this. This is the default way it is displayed. You can open up your sell menu and you'll have the buttons here. The reason why it's collapsible is to keep you from accidentally hitting a button. I love this feature that it, it does that for me because I don't want to accidentally hit sell. I used to do it on Maestro and it was a fucking disaster. I lost a lot of money because Maestro doesn't automatically by default have to have you confirm. Uh, so hide sell, great. Extra options. There's less options inside of uh, a Solana uh, coin, your slippage, and then this will revert you back to bringing up this menu so you can buy more, right? I'll close this. This is just a quick way so that you don't have to paste the contract again. Uh, we can hide options and then orders menu is orders menu. I'm gonna go ahead once again and paste in the uh, Prodigy contract code so that uh, I can bring up an Ethereum menu just to show you and monitor it, just to show you the slight difference. So everything looks the same, it's all collapsed. Great, works down here still. I open up extra options, there's a few more options. There is anti-rug, which again is more effective on ETH uh, because ETH is just a slower chain. Uh, there's your slippage and anti-MEV. When you have an anti-MEV option, if it is on, you can use whatever slippage you'd like, really. When you don't have an anti-MEV option, which not all networks have them, we after we get Solana and Injective done, we're going to try and get our own custom solution for AVAX. Uh, there is a way to do Solana anti-MEV. We have to work on that after we get all the features up. So right now, just set your slippage appropriately for Solana. Um, so we'll hide that. Great. Uh, and orders menu, it's all the same. So that is the trades monitor to stop one as I did before. Um, stop one as I did before, just hit stop. Great. And it is gone. And then I can remove fork. 